Hello everyone, my name is Victoria Nicole and welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing this iconic movie look inspired by Audrey Hepburn, of course, doing Breakfast at Tiffany's. And this is in collaboration with Tiarna Ellen. She is literally the biggest sweetheart of life. So I'm going to link all her stuff down below and I'll see if I could link her somewhere in this video. I'll figure that out. And yeah, without further ado, let's get on to the video. Hello everyone. So I already started off with the P. Louise primer base and now I'm going in with Makeup Geek's Peach Smoothie literally all over the lid. I, that's the only color I used. Now I'm taking Kat Von D's Tattoo Liner in black and I'm just lining up that waterline up top making sure that when I do put on lashes it doesn't look so harsh. It kind of blends in a little bit better. So I hope you enjoy this little jazz music I got going on. I wanted it to be you know breakfast at tiffany themed so this is what i found and <laughs> now i am going in with the bad gal mascara by benefits i literally love this right now it's one of my favorites currently now time for lashes so i'm almost sure i used the maryland lashes now i do uh like to apply them as softly as possible because for some reason if you just go straight in it doesn't stick as much so i try to like go slowly and then i pinch my lash and the falsies together to make sure it blends in very beautifully so i decided to go in a little bit with some gel liner just to darken it up and try that out a bit now foundation i am currently mixing kat von d 62 warm and 54 cool together to make my ideal shade because there's no one that has my actual shade because when i tan you know how it goes first i put my cerave <laughs> i almost dropped it my cerave moisturizer on my face and when I apply the foundation over it, it comes out a lot more smooth than if I apply it without putting a moisturizer before, just so you know. Uh, also, if you guys don't know, I have eczema and I cannot use anything with fragrance. So that is why I am using the Kat Von D, although I do really like the Kat Von D. Um, but the main purpose is because it does not have fragrance inside a lot of foundations such as um uh fenty and other brands do have fragrance and that's why i can't use them because i will break out and um peel up if you guys don't aren't familiar with eczema that's really what happens so <laughs> And now I'm going in with the uh, um, an Anastasia Cream Contour Kit in Medium. I forgot what that shade is called. I do like to cream contour because when I powder contour too much, it lifts up my foundation. One of the tricks that I like to use is not only do I pat in the foundation and or cream contour, but I like to kind of like roll it up to make it blend a little bit easier this is something i learned in a anastasia workshop and this is what they use to blend the foundation a little bit more when it's creams or liquids and uh, that's what i picked up on it i will do a whole nother video kind of explaining little by little step by step uh, let me know if you would like to see that or if not just write in the comments down below and I will get to that. Yes, a lot of blending. Everything is blending. I blend for days, honestly. But I love it, it comes out so pretty. All right, now, 
I'm going in with the Urban Decay Naked Concealer. I like this concealer because it's not as thick and I have a better coloring rather than my Shape Tape, Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. It's a little bit too light for my skin, so I have to learn how to adjust that. So I do apply it on the brush first and then I go in with my beauty blender. This I started doing after I did um, some makeup on some models and I kind of liked how it was instead of just applying it straight onto the skin. I mean, I do have to try to adjust it a little bit better because I realized I needed to put more concealer under my eyes but you know i am learning just as much as you guys are now one of the biggest issues that i have is my nose my nose is crooked i have a deviated septum which is a fancy term for crooked nose it runs in my family on top of the fact that i have this story about shoving tape up my nose when i was a little kid so long story i will explain it in a story time later but i do like to contour my nose so i like to cream contour my nose better than um powder contour just because the cream slides on so much better on top of foundation rather than powder contour for some reason lifts up the foundation from the bottom i don't know why it does this i don't know if it's because of my skin tone or my skin type um my skin doesn't look that bad on camera but i do have a lot more texture than you see on film so i make the funniest faces when I am doing my nose just because I am trying not to get um, lift up my lashes because I do have to get right up in there so you see the funny faces that I make <laughs> are just hilarious I every time I watch it I'm like oh my god girl okay now I'm going in with the hula bronzer by benefit i like to set my face with this i don't know why i like to set my face with this i guess it's because i usually look lighter so i want to make sure that i look as neutral toned as possible my face my neck and my body are completely different colors so i'm going in with a translucent powder and a damp beauty blender this is by laura mercier and I like to just set under my eyes a little bit and then after I go on my forehead sometimes I will put it underneath my chin and above my lip a little bit and then my nose so this is the biggest thing that I like to do I don't really crazy set anything else on my face just my nose because of the darkness that i did with the cream contour i do like to set it to make sure it comes out a lot lighter because the laura mercier translucent powder does come off a little bit lighter after you apply it with um like a damp beauty blender so i do go back and forth with my beauty blender to make sure that my nose is as light as possible at least to contour as light as possible or lighten the outsides okay so now i'm taking the shade and light palette by kat von d it's a bronzer palette and i'm taking literally every single bronzer color and i mix it a little bit and i bronze up my entire beautiful face i like to just apply it in these areas now i'm taking my mac melba blush i overdid the blush i wanted it to be a little bit more than what i'm used to so i went in and well you see what happened when i went in <laughs> um the best thing is that 
at least Audrey Hepburn has her cheeks a little bit more rosy because she's fair. So it did not come out bad. So I go in again with my bronzer to blend it out because you do not want to look like that ice cream vanilla of strawberry and chocolate <laughs> that you see compares to makeup a lot. All right, so now I'm doing the lash line. I think I used Makeup Geek's Cocoa Bear for this. I'm not completely sure, but I'm pretty sure it is Cocoa Bear. I know that was the biggest oxymoron of life, but I am using Cocoa Bear. I am, I'm sticking to it, it's Cocoa Bear. <laughs> now I take this Morphe brush, uh, I will list it down below because I don't remember what it's called, but it's from the Britney Bears uh, Nose Contour Kit. And I am wiping away the translucent powder to make sure that I do not look like a white cake ball. Thank you so much for watching. You guys have no idea how much you guys watching really means to me. And I appreciate everything that you guys do in watching, to liking, to commenting, to subscribing. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. And yeah, like if you enjoyed this video. Comment down below your thoughts, what characters you would want me to recreate. And literally anything, you could comment something about yourself. Just come on anything and subscribe to my channel. Join this little Halloween kingdom we got going on over here. Come be a part of our kingdom of craziness. Love you guys. Bye.